Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about what I call the cold approach wardrobe advantage. This is a, a funny observation that I've had after years of doing this stuff, and it's I think it's an important piece to keep in the back of your mind. And and I think I've, I've given you guys like so many reasons why I, I believe cold approach is is doable. It is advantageous to you. It is a better way, I think, in a lot of senses to meet a new person than the other avenues and channels that you can exhaust in your life. But this is just one more reason, one more small piece, one more thing to put in your, your knowledge bucket here. The wardrobe advantage, what is that? I wanna talk about that a little bit today. When you approach a woman in a normal, average, everyday, daylight hour sorts of setting, odds are that she is dressed. Her wardrobe is physically different than it is when you meet under these other pretenses of the weekend night scene, right? You're out at a bar, you're out at a club, you're in this quote unquote traditional you know, place where, where people think they need to go to meet people. And there's a very big contrast between the energy and the, the um, just the dynamics. When you approach a woman, let's, let's consider the, the situation where you're doing it in a bar or a nightclub or, or whatever, that sort of situation, okay? Most women, when they go out, I shouldn't say most, but a lot of them, they dress to the nines. They look their absolute best. They've put hours into their physical appearance. They're wearing that nice dress that accentuates their body. Their features are popping out. Every guy in the room is looking at them. It's just like, it's empowering to them. That's part of the reason I feel like, you know, women do this in general. This is normal, natural human stuff. I'm not knocking that. I mean, we, we all love that as guys, right? But that, that's an element. And, and when a woman is in that sort of situation, she's very confident about herself. She's getting attention, like I said, from everybody in the room. And it's like, when you try to go up and make an approach in that sort of situation, it's like a lot of times there is this, this sort of element, this dynamic that it's like, she's looking down on probably 99% of the people in that bar. And yeah, maybe there's like one or two guys in there that might captivate her interest and might make her still get butterflies in her stomach. But a lot of the times these women that, you know, when they're out at night, they're looking good, they're feeling good, like they're on cloud nine. They're just in a whole different like sort of mental confidence space that, that hey, that's that's great for them. I'm not knocking them, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but that is a dynamic. So when you, as a person, try to go up, make an approach, make something happen in that sort of situation, it's just, it's different. Let's just say you're at like a little bit of a deficit in a way, okay? Now, strategically, like how can we turn that deficit to an advantage and how can we turn the tables a little bit? And that's what I'm talking about here today, guys. When you approach the girl in the, the average daylight hours, weekday sort of settings, right? You're in Target, you're in the grocery store, you're in whatever, wherever you go, right? A lot of times, women's are not dressed to the nines. And that's normal and natural, that's everyday stuff, right? But a lot of times, like most of the time when I meet women in these situations, I love it because they're wearing like their yoga pants and a sweatshirt. They're wearing like their, uh, <laughs> one of the ones I love the most is the the, the women that uh, work in the medical field and they're wearing their smocks out and about, these big like blousey things. They, whatever they're wearing, a lot of times it's not that flattering. It's not their best wardrobe. And, and like I said, I'm not w knocking women at all for going out of the house looking that way. and. It, it is really cool. I think every every one of us guys has some sort of ability that it's like, even though that woman might be wearing what she's wearing or she's not wearing anything revealing, it's like, we still kind of have this eye where you can tell that this is a woman you're attracted to. Even if she doesn't have all her normal makeup and her hair done and you know she's wearing her, her, her body accentuating things, whatever these, you know, these things are, you can still look through that and see beauty. And that's ironically on the back end of these situations, something I'll talk about at the very end, that I think it, it makes women feel good. It's, it's a good thing at the end of the day when you can have that sort of perceptive ability and find beauty in that woman that looks this way in her normal average eight, everyday sort of look. I mean, that's, that's validating for her. I think that makes most women feel good. And that's, that's something, like I said, that, that a lot of times has come to resurface for me when I've developed relationships out of these sorts of situations. But, Back to the point at hand, guys, like when you when you approach a woman in that sort of situation, she's not riding so high on her confidence the way she is in that bar when she's got her little cocktail dress on or she's wearing whatever she's wearing, she's looking the way she's looking. It's almost like you're at a little bit more of an, an advantage right now and she's a little, at a little bit more of a deficit because you know, hopefully if you're a guy, like you're not going out the house looking like a slob every single day, but you, you have some sort of 
you have yourself put together a little bit. Hopefully you're wearing like decent clothes. Hopefully you've, you've groomed yourself. You're doing your normal stuff. And it's not to say that you're going out the house every day in a, in a dress suit and looking like you might look in a club even. But it's like there's, there's a, a little bit of a difference. There's a little bit of advantage that comes into play there when you turn those tables, guys, and you, you approach the woman when she's wearing her sweatshirt and her yoga pants. It's just different. And yeah, some women are still gonna be confident, but a lot of them, like it's just, it's a shifting of the dynamics. It's a shifting of the elements. And, and I'm not saying, this is not about some crazy power struggle. This is, this is a lot about like just developing your confidence and your, your understanding of this, this concept here. And, and when you can approach in a situation like that, it, it really is in some senses a lot easier to approach a woman that, that is looking like that versus you know approaching the girl. Once again, think about the bar. She's dressed to the nine. She's got a hundred guys in the room looking at her. It's a whole different sort of situation. But once again, you're in that average every daylight, every day, daily and hour sorts of setting. When you can make an approach under that sort of context, it's just, it's easier on you, okay? It's it's like, there's just this, this different mental dynamic that's going on. There's physically a different dynamic that's going on between the two of you. And a lot of times like, some girls are gonna be like a little bit self-conscious. And this is the piece that I wanted to kind of tie up the whole talk with. And, you know, on the back end of these situations, when I've, when I've had a situation go like that, I've, I've had, you know, just in the last like year or two, like I've had a couple girls that I dated for you know, a bit longer of periods of times. And this always came up and they're, they're always like, we'll circle back to this moment when we met. And they're always like curious. They're like, you know, I, I didn't go out of my house look like thinking I was gonna meet anybody. Like I looked like crap that day. Like I was like, whatever, but like, why did you approach me? And you know, it's, it's a good opportunity for you to like, not to try to fill her head with compliments, but just to say, you know, yeah, I still, I thought you were beautiful. Like I thought you, you still looked great. Like how you were looking that day. And I still wanted to talk to you. And, and once again, that, that's something that I think at the end of the day that that turns you into a real genuine human being in her eyes a lot of times it, it makes it 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 reaffirms to her that you're not completely just 100 percent that's all you care about is looks is like you're you're a little bit more analytical you're looking at different stuff you're more appreciative of different characteristics and it's like yes you you can still approach a woman that's not wearing the cocktail dress and, and looking the way that she does on the weekend at night in a bar in a club whatever and that's just the sort of guy that you are. So I hope some of that knowledge adds a little something to your to your bucket there. I hope it's something you can think about. I hope it's one more reason that you guys can use to, to ration that it's like, hey, this stuff can work for you. This stuff is good. This this stuff is actually advantageous to me as a guy, right? That's that's the last thing, you know, just to, to recap and make mention of guys, and I've said this many times, it's like you're you're way better off. Your chances of success, I believe, are a hundred times better in the cold approach sort of daylight hours, excuse me, daylight hours, everyday sort of setting than they are in the bar, in the club, you know, with the rest of the wolf pack that's in there trying to, to do the same thing you are, okay? All right, guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. Talk to you real soon.